get ready for a cosmic disaster on a scale never seen before. Beetlejuice, the red supergiant, is sending terrifying signals across space. Astronomers have discovered something profound about this huge object using the James Webb Space Telescope. Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is, are we about to witness a supernova explosion so big that it will change the night sky forever? In the vastness of the universe, stars are born, live, and die in astonishing ways. Recently, one star has captured the attention and concern of both astronomers and the general public. It is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star that stands out in the cosmic constellation of Orion. A large and very old star, its reddish color and changing brightness have long been fascinating, but recently, events have made people even more interested in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we are on the verge of a major event in its history. But what could these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we seeing the beginning of a cosmic spectacle on an unimaginably huge scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant, 900 times larger than our sun, something difficult for humans to comprehend. Imagine a star so large that if it were to replace our sun, its surface would reach beyond the orbit of Mars and envelop Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This enormous size not only shows how impressive Betelgeuse physically is, but also at what stage of its life cycle it is right now as a red supergiant. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, expanding and cooling in this phase that comes after converting hydrogen to helium in its core. However, the star is believed to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old. It's been changing dramatically over millions of years to become the red giant we see today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Supergiant stars like Betelgeuse undergo significant changes throughout their lives due to the constant pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. What makes this stage of Betelgeuse unique is its reddish color. Its red hue is due to the fact that its surface is cooler than the other stars like our sun. While the surface of the sun has a temperature of about 5,500 Kelvin, the surface of Betelgeuse is about 300,500 Kelvin. Because of this lower temperature, Betelgeuse emits light at a wavelength that make it appear red. But this color is not just an appearance, it tells us something about the physical state of the star and the process occurring in its huge gaseous volume. The color of Betelgeuse has changed over time. During the Roman and Chinese eras, Betelgeuse was said to be yellowed about 2,000 years ago. In the 9th century, Arab astronomers were the first to claim that it was red. This change in color throughout human and scientific history has also shown how the star has evolved over time. Another interesting thing about Betelgeuse is that its brightness varies over time. It is a variable star, which means that its brightness rises and falls regularly. This variation has fascinated scientists and sky watchers for hundreds of years. Betelgeuse goes through a brightness cycle of 400 days and a longer cycle lasting 5 years. As early as 1836, Sir John Herschel wrote about these cycles, and Aboriginal stories may go back even further. However, what really makes Betelgeuse mysterious is not only how its brightness changes, but also how irregular it can be. Unlike many stars that dim and brighten in predictable ways, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from this pattern, suggesting complicated and less understood processes with its enormous structure. Recently, astronomers and stargazers around the world were surprised to see Betelgeuse's appearance change dramatically and unexpectedly. This is known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, which is one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the constellation Orion, began to dim in a mysterious way. The star was fading at a rate of 0.01 magnitude per date on average. By February 2020, Betelgeuse was at its faintest. Normally visible to the naked eye, 
even in places with lots of light pollution, it had become much fainter, and onlookers could tell the difference. However, the paradox of time complicates observing Betelgeuse, as it takes a long time for the star's light to reach us. When we look at Betelgeuse, we see it as it was almost 654 years ago, because it is about 654 light years away. This time lag makes it difficult to predict and monitor rapid changes in its behavior. The Betelgeuse dimming event was a reminder of how complicated it is to observe the night sky in real time and how little we know about this big, strange world of space and time. Andrea Dupri, deputy director of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysicists, and her team took a close look at Betelgeuse's dramatic events as part of a three-year study to track changes in the star's outer atmosphere used in Hubble. These observations provided new insights into how a variable star, like Betelgeuse, works. Variable stars regularly expand and contract, causing changes in their brightness. The researchers were able to observe the star's surface layers, heated in part by swirling convection cells, thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light. Studies of Hubble's spectra taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 helped determine how fast things were moving in Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere. They found that material was moving from the star's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour, eventually reaching millions of miles away from Betelgeuse. Now, this movement of material contributed to the formation of a dust cloud that made the star appear less bright for three months. Dupri and his team thought that about twice as much material from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere had been ejected. This mass loss was remarkable because it occurred at a much faster rate than expected. The astronomers wondered whether this event might be a sign of an upcoming supernova explosion, given how large the mass release was and how faint the star became. At 654 light years from Earth, Betelgeuse's behavior remains a mystery. Such an explosion would be visible from Earth it would give people a rare chance to see a supernova up close. But the question remains, is this a sign that a supernova is about to occur? Or is it simply a one-time event in the long and complicated life of Betelgeuse? Several theories have been proposed to explain this rapid change. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell to receive any content like this. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.